Hey now, welcome back everyone. You guys have been asking in the comments on my Instagram for an update on Grandpa's Peace Lily. And today is the day. I'm excited to let you guys know what I've been doing with the hydrogen peroxide treatments for this plant and some of my others to show you how it's thriving and how I pretty much brought this plant back from sudden death. So I'm glad you're here. Let's go ahead and get right into this. All right, everyone, welcome back. I'm Asiya. This is Asiya's Plant Life, and today we are getting into a follow up video on my hydrogen peroxide treatments that I was using on a few of my plants. Now, I think it was probably about six months ago that I showed you guys this piece of right here. This is my grandfather, or was my grandfather's. He passed away in March of last year. And this was his plant that he had for approximately maybe four, five years or so um, in his condo in New York. After he passed, I brought two of his plants home. This one who I've affectionately named Miriam, which um, is my grandmother's name, my grandfather's wife. Um, I brought this plant back home with me and it instantly started to droop the leaves started to yellow and turn brown it just didn't respond to watering it didn't respond to getting sunlight it just wasn't responding literally this plant was dying and it was really an emotional moment for me because or emotional time for me because as i said this is my grandfather's plant and i wanted to be able to keep a part of him with me so i had done some research and i learned about hydrogen peroxide treatments and also for use as fertilizer so I said I was going to try it on this one and another piece of lily that I had that was giving me trouble. And OMG, I have to tell you, I'm so excited because not only have I been able to keep the plant alive, it is thriving. Now, let me just go ahead and, and show you guys this plant. So I'm going to show it to you from this angle and then I'm going to stand up and let you look at it from the top. So again, this is my grandpa's peach lily. I'm going to go ahead and link the previous video where I did the hydrogen peroxide treatment on this so you guys can see what it looked like and exactly how I did the um, hydrogen peroxide treatment along with the measurements that I used. I will let you know that I used that, um, I used that treatment probably about once every three weeks for the last four to five months. I cut away all of the dead and dying leaves. I repotted it from the last video. You may recall that it was still in its nursery pot. I went ahead and put it into this antique copper pot. It didn't have drainage holes, so I just used the drill bit, put about three holes in the bottom of it, um, changed out its soil. And I'm actually gonna do a video, an upcoming video, I'm gonna show you what my, my soil mixture is that I use for this plant and that I've been using for some of my other plants that just has blown me away. The plants just absolutely love it. So I repotted it, cut away all of the dead and dying leaves, pretty much cut this thing back to about five leaves, guys, five leaves um, in hopes that I could save it. And that has actually just done wonders for this, um, for this plant. So let me go ahead and put it down right here and I'm going to um, let you guys get a better look at what this plant is looking like. So as you can see, the leaves on it are beautiful. It's got a new leaf coming up right here. Let's see if you guys can see that one. It's got a new leaf coming up and unfurling right here. And even down towards the bottom of the plant, this plant has is starting to get the fullness that we know and love about peace lilies at the bottom or the base of the plant. Now, as I said, I've had this plant in my house. It's been about a year or so, a little over a year since I've had it in my, in my home, and it did not look like this. Now, while this might not look like the peace lilies that you guys are used to that have the blooms, um, that have the blooms on it. I'm okay with that because I realized that this plant has, it's had a traumatic experience. Just like people, like we feel lost and we mourn, so do our, so do our plants. So I'm 
I'm just going to continue to provide this plant with the same love and care. I um, am going to continue doing the hydrogen peroxide treatments, but I'm going to space them out a little bit more. Instead of doing them every three weeks, I think I'm going to do it every five to six weeks, so once every other month or, or so. I'm going to, um, to give it the treatment, and I'm hoping that if I don't get the beautiful blooms, the white blooms that we know and love, peace at least for, if I don't get those this growing season, I'm hoping that this plant will have been restored to health enough so that by next, next growing season, I can get some beautiful um, blooms on it. So I, I'm trying to give you guys as many angles as possible. I apologize for this being crooked and all over the place because I'm holding my tripod as um, I'm holding the camera here. But I want to make sure you guys are actually seeing how much this plant has grown and changed and really um, how much is thriving. I'm really excited about the plant. I'm really excited that I have this part of my grandfather to bring with me, um, to, to carry with me. And I'm just, I'm excited. I'm happy that I tried something that worked. I mean, you plant parents know just because we love plants and we bring them into our homes does not mean that they're going to do well, especially if you're a novice or you're bringing in some of the more challenging plants. And pretty much everywhere that I've read about easy house plants, peace lilies are on that list, as are some succulents. And I have to admit that succulents and peace lilies are challenging house plants for me. So I'm just excited that I found something that worked, that I can show you guys the results of what I've done so that if you're using this at your home, if you're having a plant that is struggling, try the hydrogen peroxide treatment. See if it if it works. It's absolutely inexpensive to, to purchase. You can find hydrogen peroxide everywhere and it lasts for quite some time because you're using a very small amount of the hydrogen peroxide mixed with water to water and treat your plants. So I'm, I'm happy guys. I'm so happy. I'm excited to do this video. I have to apologize for taking so long to get it to you guys. I wanted the plant to be healthy and lush um, and I didn't want to do an update video until it was healthy and lush. I wanted you guys to see the truth of what that hydrogen peroxide treatment could do. I knew that the potential was there but I wanted to make sure that I could show you visual proof of how that treatment actually saved my grandpa's plant. So Miriam, that is her name, um, is doing very well. And I decided instead of just giving you guys an update on Miriam, that I was gonna actually show, show you some of the new plants that I have brought into my home over the last, I don't know, the last few months or so. Now you all know we're still on lockdown um, with this coronavirus thing. I hope you guys are being safe. Please look out for yourselves, your family, your neighbor, your, your co-workers. Just be mindful of what you're doing and where you're going. Boost your immunity. Take that zinc, that echinacea. Take your multivitamins. Drink some healthy fruit-filled smoothies. Increase your plant-based food intake. Do all of those things. Boost your immunity. Wear a mask and wear your gloves. Okay, so now I'm going to get off of that soapbox. I just wanted to drop that in there and let you guys know that I have missed you. I thank you for continuing to ride with me. And I want us to continue to have these conversations where I bring you this content and you hit me back um, with messages or comments. I want you to still be here so that we can still share and grow and love plants together. So please take care of yourself. Now, let me um, make a quick adjustment and I'm going to come back. All right, so this is just another look at um, Miriam. I know the first view of it that I gave you guys was a little wonky. So this is another view of her and I will absolutely keep you guys posted to let you know when she starts putting out blooms again. But there you go, you can see she's doing well. This is another plant that I purchased, um, I don't know, not too long ago. This was definitely a quarantine purchase. Um, this is a Diffenbachia. I did have a Diffenbachia um, previously, but I didn't really know how to take care of it. It was early on in my plant journey. I was overwhelmed with so many different plants. I didn't know how to take care of it. Um, so it took me a few years to be able to get back into um, having desire for a different bakia. So I went ahead and I purchased this one. Let me give you guys a good 
look at it. This one is still in its nursery pot. I think I've had this one about three weeks or so. Um, I'm going to be doing a video and that'll probably be loaded next Saturday on how I mix um, my potting soil and then I will be repotting this in a couple of other plants. So be sure that you um, subscribe, turn your notification bell on so that you do not miss the video of my pot and soil mixture and um, just seeing me repot these plants while we chit chat and talk about life and what's happening. So that's my Diffenbachia. I haven't named it yet. I'm not even sure if I think this one is more masculine or feminine. So I don't really know what to name this plant, but I'm going to zoom in right here so you guys can actually see it's putting up a new leaf that's unfurling and right down there in the middle, it's got another leaf that is starting to grow, another shoot that's coming up. So I'm happy that it's doing well. I have it near a south facing window, actually the only south facing window in my home that's not blocked by trees is where I have it, which is pretty much where all of my other plants are. Um, and it seems to be doing well there. So I'm not gonna move it from that place. It's just outside with me today for this video. All right, um, all these plants are indoor plants, guys. I just brought them with me out the outside today to capture this video. Um, so these will be back in my house. This is another peace lily that I, that I have here. Um, this was another one that I was struggling with. I just started doing the hydrogen peroxide treatments on this one about a month ago. And so far it's doing well. Um, it probably needs a little bit of water because I'm looking at some of these leaves are drooping. But if you look right here, it's putting up new leaves. There are some that do have the brown tips. Um, but this is a whole lot better than it looked when I first started doing the hydrogen peroxide treatments on it. If you look here again, you will see another leaf that has grown and it will be unfurling as well. So yeah, this is another one. Um, this was a gift to me about two years ago and I cut away a lot. I cut back a lot of it because it just wasn't, it wasn't doing well. It wasn't thriving um, and I actually thought that it was going to just another in another plant sudden plant death um but i decided to try the hydrogen peroxide treatment on it so like i said i've just started to do that recently and um i will just have to see how it how it thrives as i continue to do those treatments but this one is in a pot with a drainage tray at the bottom it's no longer in a nursery pot all right here this little Oh, okay, this little beauty right here, let's see if I can pick this one up. All right, this little beauty right here, this is a Marble Queen Pothos. I have two of these that I recently got. This was an online order. I purchased these from a seller on eBay that I've ordered quite a few plants from over the years. Um, plants always are good quality and they, they do very well. So this was just probably three or four little leaves when I got it about six weeks ago. And as you can see, it's growing nice and full and lush. It does have that one little leaf right there um, that's starting to die away. So I'm going to go ahead and prune that one off when I start doing some of the, um, the plant care tomorrow morning. I have here also this Rex begonia this is not the one that i showed in a previous video this is a new one this was a walmart purchase maybe six seven weeks ago maybe eight weeks i'm not quite sure but it's recent it was definitely purchased in 2020 um and it's growing it's nice and full and and beautiful i'm very happy with it this plant also sits in a south facing window um, I water it approximately once a week with baby bath water, warm water, and it does very well. Right here, this is my Berry Allison Arrowhead. I want to say it's a Berry Allison, something along those lines. This was in a kitchen window that basically got no light. And now, for those of you that are not familiar with uh, these arrowhead plants, they are low light plants. They can thrive in a, lar a low bat. Um, a low light bathroom, a basement, a um, office with artificial light. So this was in a, uh, my kitchen window that wasn't getting very much light along with a couple of snake plants. And um, I repotted it, it was in this nursery pot. Let me pick this up so you guys can get a better view of it. Look how beautiful that is. I repotted it, it was in this, a nursery pot. I went ahead and repotted it maybe a month or so ago. 
and it's just been growing like wildfire <laughs> since I um, repotted it. Look how big and beautiful the leaves on this plant are. This is quickly becoming one of my favorite um, favorite plants. It's easy to care for. It's lush. It's green. It's it's bodacious. I absolutely love this Barry Allison um, arrowhead. And then this, guys, I got today. I went out to get filters. I'm not just out and about. Let me say that. I'm not out and about. I had to go out to get filters for our heating system. And while I was at Home Depot, I saw this and I grabbed it. So this is a Raven ZZ. Um, I've seen them all over social media and I was like, you know what? I don't know how impressed I am with a plant that turns black, but when I actually had the opportunity to see it today, um, in Home Depot, I grabbed it. Now you guys know if you watch my videos that I do not like to spend a lot of money on my plants, but I did drop a whole $18.88 on this, um, on this plant. And if you take a look here, you see it's not... It's not that big, but because it's a rare plant, see that's a raven ZZ. Because it's a rare plant, and of course the demand for it is through the roof right now, of, they're gonna jack prices up. So I spent more for it than I probably would have if I bought it um, before it became all the rave, or even if I went and purchased it from an online supplier, but I'm happy I got it. It did come with a pot, and if you take a good look there, you'll see that there's a nursery pot inside of the pot. This pot does not have any holes in the bottom. So I do have a tile drill bit. So I will be putting a hole, a drainage hole in the bottom of this and repotting it. The soil that it's in is very tightly, uh oh, let me see guys. Okay, it's very tightly packed. I like my plant soil to be, to be loose so that drainage is better. So when I get a plant and the soil is tightly packed like you see it here, I will um, loosen that soil up, mix it with my own soil blend, and then repot it. And that's what I'm going to do with this one. So I will be doing a video of me repotting these plants, particularly this one, the Raven ZZ, and also this Diffenbachia right here. Um, the others that I showed you today are all in their own pots already. All right, everyone, that's it. If you have been on the fence about using hydrogen peroxide to treat your distressed plants, to use it as a natural fertilizer, I encourage it. You have seen the proof here that it works. Be sure to go back and check the uh, video of what this plant looked like when it was in its dire, dire straits of, of death. So you can see where we were and where we are now started from the bottom now we are here right plant parents i love it so um if you're on the fence if you're not quite sure if it's going to work for your plants give it a try drop me a comment and let me know if you've tried it if it's worked for you um if you're not quite sure what your hesitation is let me see how i can help you out i'm so glad that you guys are here i hope that you are being safe take care of you i want us to continue having these conversations so listen i'm going to be getting these videos up every week i finally gotten into my groove with school and family and the kids being home and you know all the things that have changed over the last few months pretty much 2020 right so i'm going to be getting videos up for you every week next week i'm doing a video on potting soil and I'm gonna be repotting a couple of my plants as I talk through why my potting mixture is what it is. Um, and then I got a collaboration coming up for you guys as well. And we're gonna be back outside where I'm gonna be showing you what I'm planting in my spring and summer garden. So be well, and I will see you in my next video. Peace.